Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a CSS topic, uh, just for a change. I haven't done a CSS video in a long time. So today's topic is CSS specificity. And for those who don't know what that is, it's pretty important. If, you, if you're using CSS for a long time, and if you don't know about it, I think you should definitely need to know because it could be a cause of a lot of your problems. For example, let's say if you have an element and you apply some style to it, Let's say you change its color to red, but when you render your HTML, the color is green and you don't know why. You can see that you applied style, which is red, but it's still coming out green and you try to debug and you can't figure out that what's going on. So specificity is nothing but set of rules that CSS follow in order to determine what the style of the element should be because you could have a third party uh, styles, you could have conflicting styles within uh, the same CSS files. And so it has to resolve them to figure out which one it should apply, okay? It's very important to know because if you don't know, then you are just doing trial and error and that's a bad idea. So let's take a look and welcome to Texit Tutorials. Specificity means if something is more specific, it has more weight, which means you want it to be that way. Let's say if I create a div here and I can say hello as a text. Okay. Now I want to style this. There are two ways to do it. I can do it inside a separate file and CSS file, or I can just write a style attribute inside the tag. So if I want to write inside a separate file let's say this is my separate file here and I can do something like this div and this div has let's say color is red okay now if I run this I would get hello with color red which is correct now I can go inside the div and I can say style equal to and then I can do this color is uh, let's say make it green okay now which one should it take if you look at this if you if you just try to make sense out of it right why would you inline style something because it's more specific which means you want to override whatever style it has before so inline style should override anything that you have written in a separate CSS file so now if I run this, it would be green because your browser resolves more specific, which is inline style. So that's the first rule. Your inline CSS always overrides the rules that you have given inside a separate CSS file. Okay, now let's take this out. And what if I am only writing inside a separate file, which makes sense. Now there are multiple ways to style your CSS. I can do this. I can say, hey, every single element should be green, which means if I have div, if I have, let's say if I have a span, let's call it span. And if I run this, everything is green because I'm, I've said everything should be green this is less specific because it has a wide audience you know i can apply to a lot of things now i am going to say okay i only want divs to have color red which means it's less wide compared to everything now if i run this it makes div red okay I can even try it by putting this before this statement just to see if something is, if it behaves the same way, it still behaves the same way. So div is more specific to everything. It takes more specific selector over something that is less specific and div is more specific. But what if I do this, if I say div and now I have two rules. Now, which one should it take? and they're both have equal specificity. In this case, 
if I run this, obviously span is not going to have any color because it doesn't know what color should it be. But div is green because it's defined later. If I move this upwards, then this would be red. So whichever, if you have the same specificity, the things that are defined later uh, takes a precedent. Now let's look at within the selectors, which one are most specific. So you have, this is uh, an element selector, which means all the div tags. Now I can have a class. So let's add a class here. I can say uh, class equal to my class. If I try to add style to it, now I have div, which is an element, and my class. Which one is more specific? Obviously my class is more specific because you can have lots of ta div tags, but you will have always have uh, less uh, elements with my class. So if I run this, it takes red. Even if I put this on the top here, just to see if they both have the same specificity, which is not, but it still picks red because um, classes have more specificity. But what is more specific than classes? Obviously IDs. So if I add an ID here, let's say ID equal to ID. And if I add ID selector, which uses pound, and I can do color is, let's say blue. And now I run it, it becomes blue because ID or IDs are unique. So you cannot get any specific than ID. So that's why it's blue. And I can actually test it by just moving this here, just in case it has same specificity and run it, but it still stays blue. What can be more specific than ID? There is a one thing that is way more specific than ID, which is important. So if I put important here, which means I don't care about the specificity, please take this one. And now if I run this, it makes it green. It doesn't really care if ID is more specific or not because important means ignore all the other specificity and just take this one. Okay, this is actually a bad idea. Um, in early days, I've used a lot and pay the price. Um, I would never use this. I would rather rely on the specificity of each element because uh, that makes more sense. So we looked at the four main rules. The first rule is if you have inline CSS, it takes precedent over something that you have written in a separate CSS file. The second rule is more specific selector takes a precedent over the less specific selector, such as classes has a higher precedent than uh, elements, and then IDs have higher precedent than classes. And if I have same class with a different color because I have two entries of same class, then whichever is defined later takes a precedent. That's the third rule. And the fourth rule is if you have important, that just takes a precedent over everything else. Now the last rule is, what if you have a very complex selector? Now this we have looked at a very simple ones, but you could have something like this. I wanna look at uh, ID ID inside uh, of that. I wanna look at all the my class and inside I would have um, all the elements with divs and it could have all the all the links and it has some sort of like a uh, let's say hover tag so and then I can have something similar here um, a UL and LI and active or something like this okay so the rule is again the same thing more specific element wins so here if you look at the length of the selectors that I'm using so you can look at whichever has more selectors wins because it has it's more specific 
All right, folks, that's it for the specificity. It's pretty simple if you look at it. Uh, you just have to use some common sense and then all your troubles would go away. And remember not to use that important because that would create lots of problems. And I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, please like. Do not forget to like because it's important uh, that you do so <laughs> because it's more specific. Like, subscribe, and comment. And you can translate this video for me. Uh, I will provide the, the information in the description. And thank you.